Welcome back to KMM Tech. Today I want to talk a little bit about text-to-speech. Um, this is something that um, I've been playing around with a little bit lately. Um, I've actually um, gotten rid of some of my Amazon um, Echoes and I've moved it over to um, Google Homes because it's a little bit more easy, a little easier to integrate the Google Home with the text-to-speech. Um, with the Amazon Echo, there's a, a server that you have to run and it's um, kind of cumbersome to get around to get the text-to-speech to work. But with the Google Chrome, um, the, the Google Home, it's a lot easier. So the first thing you need to do is you need to go into your apps um, and you're going to add a built-in app. And now in this case, I've already have it installed, but you want to install the Chromecast integration. Okay. Once you install that, it'll appear inside of your apps right here. As you open it, it's going to search for your... Um, your speakers. In this case, I have two. I have one in my kitchen, one in my bedroom. If you if you've added a new one, you just hit the rerun discovery button, and that'll add the new device. So there are a lot of things that you can do with um, with the text to speech. Uh, the first thing I'm going to show you is inside of Home uh, the, the Habitat Safety Monitor. So um, if you go here, and we'll go to Configure Arming, Disarm, and Cancel Options. Um, no, that's not where I want to go. Sorry. Uh, back to done. Configure Habitat Safety Monitor. So you'll see that I have a couple things set up. So for my intrusion away, I have a contact sensor that says garage door, sliding door, any of my sensors, it's going to send this to my phone. So I'm going to go and I'm going to actually add something else. I'm going to add an audio alert for the uh, armed away. Um, so we'll go to this we're going to speak this text um, you have opened and then I'm going to use this so it will um, it will speak the device that was actually um, opened and then uh, you have opened this device uh, the authorities helps Authorities have been notified. Please leave immediately. And then we're gonna uh, on this speech device. In this case, because it's gonna it's gonna send this throughout the whole house. I'm gonna choose all of my speakers, and then update. And then in this case, I'm actually gonna have this repeat until canceled. So it's gonna repeat it every thirty seconds. And then done with audio alerts. So now the way this is going to work, if any of these sensors are open, it is going to um, notify my phone and it's going to speak this text in the house. So that is how that works. I've already got another one set up inside. Um, oops, I want to go back here um, inside of the home. Um, so I when I'm at home, I have it armed in home mode. And what it does is when the um, when one of these sensors is open, it opened, it will speak um, the device name that is opened. So all I did was I went here, I picked the device, and then I um, put the device handler or the device uh, variable there. So it will then speak whatever um, is open. This is very helpful if you have a kid um, that's supposed to be in a certain area and you don't want them going to somewhere else. If they open the door, you'll then be notified that they've opened the door. Um, so it's a good thing to have if you do have that situation. I have it because, well, why not? It's kind of a fun thing to do. So there's one more thing that I've done with text-to-speech. Um, and we're going to go back to Rule Machine. And it's this rule right here. It's called I'm back welcome. So this is using an if then statement. Um, and if you need to have a little bit more information about if then statements, I will link to the video that I've done on if then statements. Um, so what this rule does is it says, okay, when the garage door is open, it's going to speak a certain text. So um, let's look at it a little bit, a little bit more carefully. So in this case, the trigger event is the garage door sensor opening. So here's what happens. When I arrive home, my garage door opens and several lights go on. It also switches my mode to a mode called arrival. And that mode of arrival stays there for the um, for about five minutes while, while I get you know situated at home and then the lights turn off and the garage door closes. 
So what happens is I say, okay, I want the garage door sensor, which is the door between my garage and my house. When that door opens, it's going to send a send this command if the mode is arrival. And it's, what it's going to do is it's going to set the volume on my kitchen speaker kitchen speaker to 100%. It's going to delay that by a second. And then on this, that same speaker, it's going to say, welcome home, Kyle. And it, that's delayed by three seconds. That way, as I walk in, if the door closes, I'll still be able to hear it. Um, and then after it's done, it sets the volume back to 40%, which is about where I keep it all the time. And that's delayed 20 seconds just so it has enough time to say that and it's not changing volume in between all of that. So that's just another thing you can do with text-to-speech. I'll show you the, little, the rule a bit cl uh, more closely. So what you do is the first thing you need to do is add a conditional action. And I did that by going to conditional actions. And then that puts this if statement there. And then at one of the conditions, um, you go to manage conditions. And the new condition would be mode. Um, and that's how I got that. And if the mode is arrival, then you're going to set the kit, the volume of the kitchen speaker. So to do that, select action, control music player volume sounds. And then you're going to set the volume to whatever you want. And then the next thing is speak on kitchen speaker. So you go to action and then send, speak or log a message. Select which action, send or speak a message. That's where you type in your, your message and then... You can go from there. You can notify a device if you want. And then this needs to be checked to speak the message. And then the last part is set the volume back, which is just the same as setting the volume um, to the 100% that we did earlier. So that's a little bit about text-to-speech. There are lots of other things you can do with it. Um, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask in the comments below. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and that bell notification so you're notified when new videos come out. We'll see you next time. See ya.